This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Mill Drive Home, driving home from the den. We're it finished. Millwall won. Sheffield United, nil. Yes, come on you Lions. The double over the blades. It's not very often that we say that. It's also not very often. You see me with that no steering wheel in front of me. Well, I ain't driving today. I've had a few points, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my birthday weekend, so thank you for all the messages that have come through. You're more than welcome to put the, uh, the comments in below. Um, Stick a like on the video if you like it. Get yourself subscribed to the Mill Drive Home. We really appreciate your support. You know, there's a load of people that I spoke to today. Ollie from New Cross, you know I spoke to you. Boy, Zach, what were the two boys? Le Bleu from, uh, from France. George was one. And Lewis, thank you, my beautiful wife is driving me home, so she knows exactly. Lewis and George from Le Bleu in France that have come over to watch the game. Thank you very much for, for, for what you said before the, uh, after the game. What a beautiful three points that was. A very, do you know what? I've got a lot of respect for Sheffield United. I like their fan base. I like their club. I think they're, you know, out of all the Yorkshire clubs, and there's some really bad ones, Barnsley and Leeds I'm thinking of. I actually, I've got a lot of respect for Sheffield United. I felt they're sat there, you know, a lot of their fans came today. They sung well. Uh, they got behind their boys. And it was a game that was very close. You know, how we're doing, what we are doing, considering the fact that we've had so many injuries, eat two more today is, is absolutely unbelievable. And anyone talking about Rowett and his negative football, it, it, it's unbelievable, really. What what he's doing with this squad is, is ridiculous. Um, Zach was ball boy today. He's actually wearing... Zach, what, 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 what top are you wearing? Well, um, as you know, the uh, players train up before the game. And... Um, Jed Wallace was nice enough to come over and uh, lim uh, well give me his shirt, uh, well his training jumper. So thank you very much, Jed. Yeah, well I'm, I'm pretty sure Jed's not watching, but that's uh, it's absolutely superb from Jed to do that. We started with an unchanged lineup. You know, obviously we're both up at Derby. We got home at two in the morning. Zach had to uh, get up for for school. He did go to school. Uh, done really well actually. Uh, and then we had a football tournament straight after that school football tournament, and we're not going to talk about that. Um, but it was an unchanged lineup, and what I really liked from from the first whistle was that we seemed to both teams seemed to want to come into the game. It was a typical championship defensive battle, really, with very very few chances. The be the best chance I, c I can remember created was was Billy Mitchell again winning the ball in the first half, driving with the ball, and, and he looks really good when he does that. Billy Mitchell has got something special when he's able to get gets a bit of a free license. Um, to, to run the ball and, and creates a chance with it. I was, I, I'm not going to lie, I, I weren't happy when, you know, Mason Bennett, 20 minutes, I think it was into the game, Zach, 20 minutes into the game, and Mason Bennett gets um, gets an injury, which was so disappointing to see because he's been so influential in, in our recent, recent performances and our recent wins. And it was... You're thinking you've got Zach Lovelace on the bench, you've got Benneke Fobay obviously coming back from injury. So... Why have Zach Lovelace on the bench and then put George Evans on it? It was such a defensive sub and it kind of painted the rest of the game. It was us trying to defend and, 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 and sit back and then try and counter. But we were really reliant on Jed and, and Tyler Bury doing something magical. To be honest, Tyler Bury today run his absolute nuts, nuts off with Jed Wallace. They, they really did put everything into the game. They pressed, they pressured, they tried to get on the ball, they tried to cut, you know, it was a really good run by, by Tyler in the second half where he's run down right down the end and it gets absolutely wiped out for, for a Sheffield United um, booking. And I'll say this now, ref watch, the ref today was an absolute disgrace. There's two absolute bang on dives from Sheffield United players that he's not done anything about. I, I, I'll, I'll give it one, the Bury done one in the first half. But all, all all three of those incidents should should be bookings because they're blatant, blatant cheating. Um, Zach, have you got any comments about the first half? Um. So no, obviously Zach hasn't got any comments about the first half because not much happened other than the substitution. I, I said to my wife at, at, at half time, well, I was, I was saying it quite a few times, this game is going to be decided by a set piece. Um, and it looked as though either team was going to create that ch that chance. Was it? It was going to take that chance from a corner, from a free kick. Fortunately, 
Sheffield United wasted theirs. There was a ball in the corner in the second half. Very, a great delivery from the opposite side to us. Jake Cooper rises. Well, he doesn't need to rise much, but he rose even more than he did and powers the header in at the, you know, back across the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. Uh, a few complaints from the Sheffield United fans, but uh, players, it's, it's never a foul. He, he's so tall, he gets well up and above um, the Sheffield United defenders to put us 1-0 up. And then it was, can we see the game out? And to be honest, the answer to that was a very resounding yes, because like at Derby, Bartosz Biliakowski has had to have one save in the entire game. And that's ridiculous. You know, it's championship football. When we look at, oh, row at ball, when, oh, we're defensive. Yeah, but we're not giving up chances. So to defend the way that we defended is so difficult to do. Um, Zach, who's your man of the match for today? Well, I'm going to give it as a split decision. Between, oh, split decision. You've got boxing, split decision. Uh, between Jed Wallace and um, Cooper today because... What Jed done for me and for the team was absolutely superb today. And I thought Jake Cooper and his centre-back partners, they were solid in defence, So and, and Jake Cooper scored a goal, so, yeah. I, I can't really argue with that. To be honest, I felt that Billy Mitchell had a really good game in the centre of midfield. So, so He put his body on the line so many times. You know, he actually got wiped out as well that... Um, in the middle of the park and, and there were, I don't think there was even a booking given for it but the energy from the team the, the, the attitude of the team I don't know where we're going to go you know we've had so many injuries you've so many good players out you've got Burke Ojo Freeman uh, and now uh, Bennett how we're doing what we're doing is is ultimately going to see where we're going to go from for the rest of the season I think we're four points behind the playoffs and it's like I said it's five points behind the playoffs sorry um it's silly that we're even there, considering what we're having to deal with. And every team has to deal with um, injuries. But it seems that all of ours have come to our front players, other than the fact that we've also lost Ballard, who, who came back in. And to be fair, Ballard coming in for Hutch today, I was worried. When Hutch went off, he's so instrumental in what we do. And, and with him coming off, I thought it might be it might be a little bit of a worry. But Ballard come in, and, and, and considering he's come back from an injury, dealt with the Sheffield United attack so so easy. Like I said, Bart has one, one save to make. We've got Red in away next Saturday. Obviously, me and Zach will be there. It's a shame because me and, me and Zach, are, obviously, we coached down the 11s team. Uh, my, well, Zach's under 11 team, I coach. And it was our first competitive game uh, tomorrow. And unfortunately, our opponents have dropped out. So, given us a buy into the next uh, round of the cup, which I would have rather have played them. And to be fair... Um, we beat them quite comfortably last time, so maybe that's why their players disappeared. But we, we, we won't go into that. We're going to enjoy the rest of the Saturday. It's my birthday tomorrow. My man of the match, I'm giving it to Jake Cooper. The fact that you, you defend resolutely, you don't concede any chances to a really good Sheffield United team, and you get your head on the ball to, to put it home in the first half. Like I said, virtually no chances throughout the game. Four wins in a row. Four meal wins in a row. We love the fact you come up to us at the games. If you're still watching your, your proper meal fans or, or fans of, of, of proper football clubs, thank you very much for watching. Is there anything you want to say? What a game. What a game. Nowhere else. Nothing else we could say. Thank you very much for watching the meal, meal Drive Home. Get yourself subscribed if you're not. No one likes us. We don't care. Yes.